Welcome back to London Calling. I'm Jeremy McLaughlin and I'm here with Harry Mara, the coach for a decathlete Ashton Eaton. Ashton is an extremely uh, good hurdler. He's better than good. He's a very, very good hurdler. Uh, in the open hurdles, not in the decathlon, he has the fastest time of any decathlete ever that ever ran the hurdles. Now this is easily over half Ashton Mai's height. How do you get over this? First off, how did you get into javelin? Uh, I was playing football, could always throw a football really far, throw a baseball really far. Uh, just tried my hand at the javelin and it seemed to go pretty far. Now where did you grow up? Because I know that javelin is not in every state. Yeah, like at only, the high school level. It's only about 11 states that still do it in high school. And luckily, I grew up in Oregon where I still do it in high school. And I threw for Newburgh High School. And we had a pretty good coach, pretty good team, and had a pretty good javelin squad. Now explain your, your, uh, your achievements as a collegiate thrower. Well, I hold the, the school, University of Oregon, uh, record, and also Pac-10 record, Pac-12 record. Um, and I actually am the, the fourth all-time uh, collegiate javelin thrower. Okay. and eighth all-time U.S. javelin thrower. So that's all professional, uh, collegiate, everything. So you're the man? Uh, not quite, I'm you're trying to You're the man, to. come on, don't play with me. <laughs> trying to work there. All right, well I want to get a couple of throws. Like I want to see you throw the javelin and then I want to try my hand at this. All, all right. right, good luck. So, <laughs> okay, here we go. Arm back. That was really good. And it hurts. And if we went by the sliding, you might almost beat me on that one. Almost. It's been said that pole vaulting is in the top three most difficult things to do in sports. Let's head over to the pit so that Melissa Gurgle can show us just how difficult it really is. And what is your PR right now? My PR right now is four meters, 45 centimeters, which is 14, seven and a quarter. 14 foot, seven inches and a quarter. Are you kidding me? That's me standing on your shoulders with my hands above my head. <laughs> this is Bridget Frenick. Let's bring it down a little bit. Steeplechaser extraordinaire. How you doing today? Good, thanks. Good, so I'm curious about the steeplechase. Now it's not just a running event. It's running, jumping, vaulting. Fill me in on a little bit of the details on it. So let's tackle this, the barrier with the water pit. Ah. <laughs> All right. Great. I didn't touch my hands. I didn't touch my hands. Yeah, good. You accelerated into it, accelerated off. That's great. Now just times that by seven and add four regular barriers per lap and then you got a whole steeplechase. I'm already a little bit tired. Let me tell you, it gets worse as, <laughs> as the race goes on. We've had a lot of fun hanging out with these athletes the last couple days here in Eugene. Hopefully the fans at home have a better idea of how to comprehend just how elite these Olympic hopefuls are as they get set for the U.S. Olympic Trials. Exactly, and remember that the Olympic Trials view live right here on Comcast Sportsnet June 21st with the hammer throw and then June 22nd through July 1st right here in Eugene, Oregon. We'll have insights, highlights, and interviews with the Olympians as and after they compete. Well, that's going to do it for Jeremy and myself, Jordan. We'll see you at the 2012 Olympic Trials.